when we say non-governmental organizations or NGOs, as we call them, uh, these refer to actors that are non-state actors uh, uh, that are established or founded to, to work on a specific area. Uh, it could be on education, health, you know, sanitation, uh, or different areas or human rights issues. Uh, we understand that there are broad uh, concepts, broad concerns uh, that we all need to work on. There are areas that the government covers, there are areas non-government uh, organizations cover, and then there are areas that the uh, private sector covers. Um, so it's recognizing that area uh, that they can engage in and kind of contribute to in terms of uh, the countries that they are operating in. Uh, how they link with civil society organizations, uh, by civil society organizations we are uh, referring to um, entities, formal or informal entities that, uh, that are brought together uh, by representatives of a society. It could be a volunteers group, for example. It could be a community-based organization that has been part of a tradition of a specific uh, culture or community. But these uh, groups come together for a specific cause. They come together to have a better impact uh, on the communities that they work in. So uh, for us, uh, for me as a person who has been working with in the NGO sector with civil society organizations, I have seen that uh, that partnership can actually make a difference in the, uh, in the communities that we work in, specifically in kind of creating that, uh, you know, capacity building component and learning component uh, within, the, within the organizations.